All right, so we are going to jump into some practice problems, and I'd like to give you a second to try these out on your own. So press pause and try these out, see if you can kind of manage them without any help. And then once you're done, come on back and let's work on them together to see how you're doing. So to get us started here, remember, we're going to put 28 in our first little box there and then divide out the smallest number we possibly can. That happens to be 2. That leaves us with 14. Once you've divided out 2, then divide out again. The smallest number again is 2. Then we're left with 7. But the smallest number we can divide out of 7 is actually itself, 7. So we're left with this. Remember, once you get to 1, 1 means we're done. All right? So we can't go any further. So now we start looking for pairs. So do we have any pairs of factors on the left hand side and we do we have a pair of twos and then so we circle those but then we put a box we put a box around any number that's on its own so we seven is on its own so we put a box around him from there we jump in we say okay we have a single pair of twos so that goes on the outside and then we have our square root and then we have our single seven that's boxed, and the boxed ones go on the inside. So there you go. There's your final answer, 2 square root of 7. Let's try another one here. 32 goes on the inside. Smallest number that goes into 32 is 2. Leaves us with 16. Another 2 leaves us with 8. Another 2 leaves us with 4. Another 2 leaves us with 2. And one more two, there's a ton of twos. And one more two leaves us with one. All right, so that means we're done. That's how many pairs do we have? We come back, we look at all our pairs. I have a pair of twos right here, a pair of twos right there. So that really is our only pairs. How many boxes? We have one that's boxed up. So that's our final answer. Our final answer, we bring it all together. We have two of these, so that's 2 times 2, square root of the boxed one, a, sec, a third 2. So now we have 2 times 2 times square root of 2. We can obviously simplify that to 4 square root of 2. And there we are. That's our final answer, simplified form. All right, last question here. <clears throat> it's a little bit different because we have this negative 5 hanging out out front. And that negative 5 <clears throat> throws a lot of people off, but really it can just, it really just hangs out there the entire time. So kind of ignore the fact that it's there for a little bit, and let's do what we, what we do best. So this one's going to take a little bit of time, but if we put 1,200 into our little box and we divide out our smallest number again. So our smallest number is 2. That leaves us with 600. All right, smallest number we can divide out of 600 is 2. That leaves us with 300. Smallest number we can divide out of 300 is 2. That leaves us with 150. Smallest number we can divide out of 150 is 2. That leaves us with 75. So now we can no longer divide 2 out of 75. So what's the smallest number? 3. 3 goes into 75 25 times, so that leaves us with 25. Now we divide what's our smallest number. In this case, it's 5, which leaves us with 5 again, which leaves us with, a, finally, a, one last 5. Whew, that was a long one. So we come back to it. Let's find our pairs. Pair of 2s, pair of 2s, pair of 5s. And singles, our single guy is right there, that 3. So if we're going to write all this out, it's going to take a second, but if we write all this out, let's think about what we have. Let's first of all remember that we have this negative 5 from the very beginning. So negative 5 is still there. Then we have this pair of 2s, so times 2. Then we have another pair of 2s, so times 2. Then we have a pair of 5s, so times 5. And last but not least, inside our radical, we have our single 3. So from there, now we're able to simplify one last time 
If we multiply all that together, 5 times 5 is negative, 10, negative 25. Well, let's start from here. So multiply those first two together. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Ne 10 times 2 is negative 20. Negative 20 times 5 is negative 100. So negative 100 square root of 3 is our final answer. All right, keep up the good work. We'll keep practicing right below.